All right, shalom, shalom. My name is Mama Sia Wan. I am the certified daughter of the major prophet, Shepherd Bushiri, a.k.a. Major One. Um, I'm not doing this broadcast with a happy heart, but I'm doing it to warn people. As a seer, there are days where I come out and I encourage, I prophesy, I declare, uh, and I warn people. There is this hype trending of speaking bad against men and women of God. I don't know, brothers and sisters, I don't know whether you understand the dangers of speaking against a person you don't know, even if you know. Men and women of God are dangerous. I mean, I don't want to lie to you. At battle in my walk with God, I have seen men and women of God. I became close to men and women of God. And I saw that, you know, this journey is lonely. It has so many attacks and challenges. And it is also a journey of power. You don't know what the man of God is saying before pulpit or after pulpit. And you come out, you say whatever you say. People of God, spiritual people, not only men and women of God, but spiritual people are dangerous. My spiritual father, Prophet Shepherd Bushiri, always say we must move away from speaking against other men of God. Yet, other men of God are speaking against him. They are speaking of him publicly. They are ridiculing him publicly. And I had an opportunity to ask him why. Why, Dad, why did you say we must allow that? And he just said to me, love. Love. He answered me and he said, show love in the midst of hatred. I will say this one. My fellow brothers and sisters in the ECG, the Jesus Nation Church, if it is your time to leave the ministry, I beg, live in peace. How I wish I can talk to you. Live in peace or with peace. Why do you have to say all kinds of things? Why do you, why do you have to utter things that we don't know? Yazi, what, what baffles me is when the things were right on your side, you never came to us and tell us that this is what I get, this is what I get, this is what is happening. When you were having invitations to branches, an example, and you go and minister there and you get, you know, people love you and honor you with seeds and all that and gifts and all that, you never came to a social media platform platform and say mama see I see what I have received from so and so branch you kept quiet when the man of God was even honoring you with seed or honor honorarium you kept quiet but why is it so simple for people to speak against men and women of God when they leave the church two if it is your time to leave and you feel in your spirit that you want to leave, especially the Jesus Nation Church, I beg, don't involve us. You see, it's okay to write a letter and say, Dad, please release me uh, because of the following, uh, uh, what, 
I uh, what f following reasons or what? Please release me with a good heart, my father. You know I love you, but I believe this is the time. There's nothing wrong with that, than to live and you speak things that we don't know. Yazi, I become so baffled that how oh, can there were people who our father in the Lord Prophet Shepherd Bushiri was even helping them privately with rent, with food. I, I didn't know. Because people are what? Are silent. People were silent when they were receiving from the man of God. And now when the man of God is no longer doing that, and now he's helping others, now it's a problem. When it was your time when the man of God was paying your rent, giving you food, buying you a car, making you to have a, maintain your life and all that as you are saving, you were quiet. You were like us. People of God, do you know I've got, I have two years. No deployment. No deployment. Two years, I haven't received anything. And in these two years, I... I decided to stay because God has never said to me, go. Kandi, in the two years, my father was, you know, busy helping others. Oh, which is the best thing. Father, thank you. Major one, thank you. In that two years, you were feeding families. In the two years, now the people you have helped, they are coming out. Now they are speaking against you. How ungrateful we are. They don't want to see. That is why I say, when the Lord has spoken to you to live, the Jesus nation, just live in peace, with peace. Don't, 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 don't. Why is it so, why is it so easy even to try and compare prophets? People have got a hate comparison or competition so much so. And just because I have uh, minding my own business, I am serving God well, well, without stress. Why do you have to compare prophecies? When things were right in the ECG, the Jesus Nation Church, when things your business, your your business was popping, your life was okay. You never came out to, to social media platform and say, Yeah, a major one is doing this for me, for me, good things. Now that you left, but the people of God, why are we so ungrateful? I'm even shocked when I read the news and, 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 and I saw that ah, some people received even cars from the prophet himself. He blessed them with cars. But today they are coming out, they are coming against the people of God who bewitched us. How do you begin to destroy the hand that feeds you? Ungrateful generation. Shiva had a man the cross Kiva had. Okay. For now, I'm still the ECG, the Jesus Nation Church ambassador. I'm the Jesus Nation. I'm still staying. So when you decide to leave, just leave in peace. Don't involve us. We still want to enter into the Holy of Holies, the inner court. Leave us alone. Thank you. It's a shalom from me. No, no, no. Before a shalom, Dad and Mom, thank you. Even if people can come and try to bite your finger, the finger that you used to feed them, please do not, do not be, do not, this thing mustn't touch your spirit and you decided to leave others. No, please continue to do. Thank you.